Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Today's Mass intentions are Mass offered by Vijaya Srinivas for her intentions, Mass offered by Venisha Peter for her personal intentions, Mass offered by Vandana Rajan for her family, Mass offered by Shobha Rani for her personal intention, Mass offered by DJ Sanjay for his personal intention, Mass offered by Benjamin David for his personal intention, Mass offered by Sujata Janakutti for the personal intention and special prayer, Mass offered by Praveen Kumar for his personal intentions, Mass offered by Charmin Kisho um, on the occasion of VC Nandan Kisho's birthday by grandmother Talaya Ashe, wife, daughter, and son in law, Mass offered by Division Santa. Mass offered by Mate Srinivas Rao. Here we come to worship and adore you. Father, here we are to praise and glorify you. Father, here we come to worship and adore you. Father, here we are to praise and glorify you. We come to you in faith. We stand here unafraid. Father, here we come to worship and adore you. Father, here we are to praise and glorify. To praise and glorify you. To praise and glorify you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I invite each and every one of you for this Eucharistic celebration on the day dedicated to St. Peter and St. Paul. Let us offer this Eucharistic celebration as a thanksgiving mass. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today we commemorate great saints. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the great saints, the pillars of the church, St. Peter and St. Paul. Commemoration of each saint is an occasion for the church to celebrate. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 7 says, 
the memory of the righteous is a blessing praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord today the mother church celebrates the feast of two great saints of the church saint peter saint paul proverbs chapter 29 verses 2 says when the righteous are praised people rejoice along with the church you and i are rejoicing today to celebrate this great feast feast of saint peter and saint paul both guided the church after jesus they were the ones who were taking hold of the early church and made the people to stand with faith to move with faith and to call jesus each and every walk of their life it was they both who established the kingdom of god on this earth they were used as a great apostles in establishing god's kingdom on this earth it was this both who witnessed to the gospel truths and proclaimed jesus to the ends of the world and died as martyrs yes my dear brothers and sisters saint peter died upside down by crucified on the cross saint paul was beheaded for standing for the truth and the gospel both saint peter and saint paul was chosen was consecrated was commissioned as they teach us a good example how to be a follower let us ask their intercession during this eucharistic celebration that we too who are chosen by god we too who have been consecrated by our baptism we too who have been commissioned with the plans and purpose of god may fulfill it in day to day of our life let us feel sorry for those moments that we were not able to follow god's plans and purpose that we were not been in the circle of the chosen people that we were not able to work for the greater glory of god in establishing kingdom of god let us feel sorry for those moments let us feel sorry and ask pardon and grace so that we through the intercession of saint peter and saint paul become an instrument in establishing god's kingdom on this earth little drops of water makes mighty ocean let our works make god to be glorified through the life that we live let us prepare in this eucharistic celebration worthily and ask god to give us that grace to be his worthy disciples i confess to, to almighty god, god and to you my, my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my, thoughts, in my, my words in what, what i have done and in what, what i have failed to do through my fault through, through, through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary our virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen, amen. See 
seated at the right hand of the Father. No dharma see. Christ dharma see. No dharma of angels sing peace on earth to all who dwell who are the heart is glory glory they sing the chorus of angels sing peace on earth to all who dwell who are the heart is Heavenly King, to you our praises we sing. We bless you and honor your glory, for you alone are holy. Glory, glory, they sing, the chorus of angels sing. Peace on earth to all who dwell. Who art the heart is Jesus Christ, Son of God, you are the Lamb of God. You bear the sins of the world Have mercy on us, I plead Glory, glory, they sing When there's a friend, they sing Peace on earth to all who dwell Who at the heart is well God, the Trinity, symbol of all unity. We beg you for all forgiveness, for you are full of kindness. Glory, glory, they sing, the chorus of angels sing. Peace on earth to all who dwell. Who at the heart is dwell? Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who on the solemnity of the apostles Peter and Paul, give us the noble and holy joy of this day. Grant, we pray, that your church may in all things follow the teaching of those through whom she received the beginning of right religion through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns within the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen
Now I am sure that the Lord has rescued me from the hand of Herod. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, verses 1 to 11. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, verses 1 to 11. Herod the king laid violent hands upon some who belonged to the church. He killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the day of unleavened bread. And when he had seized him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four scores of soldiers to guard him, intending after the Passover to bring him out to the people. So Peter was kept in prison. But earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. The very night when Herod was about to bring him out, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and sentries before the door were guarding the prison. And behold, an angel of the Lord appeared and a light showed in the cell. And he struck Peter on the side and woke him saying, Get up quickly. And the chains fell off his hands. And the angels said to him, Dress yourself and put on your sandals. And he did so. And he said to him, Wrap your mantle around you and follow me. And he went out and followed him. He did not know that what was done by the angel was real, but thought he was seeing a vision. When they had past the first and the second guard, they came to the iron gate leading into the city. It opened to them of its own accord, and they went out and passed on through one street, and immediately the angel left him. He came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all the Jews Jewish people were expecting the word of God. Thanks be to God. I am the servant of the Lord, let his will be done in me, that my life may proclaim his greatness to the world. I am the servant of the Lord, let his will be done in me that my life may proclaim his greatness to the My spirit rejoices in God, for he looked on his lowly servant, and every year shall call me blessed. I am the servant of the Lord, let his will be done in me. My life may proclaim His greatness to the world. I am the servant of the Lord. 
God, let His will be done in me, that my life may proclaim His greatness to the world. Henceforth, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness. Second reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy, chapter 4, verses from 6 to 8 and 17 and 18. I am already on the point of being sacrificed. The time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will reward to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Loved. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength to proclaim the word fully, that all the Gentiles might hear it, so that I was rescued from the lion's mouth, the Lord will rescue me from every evil and save me from his save me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, praise the Lord, sing. 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 You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the power of death shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, sing. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, sing. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 to 19. Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 to 19. When Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do men say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others say Eliza, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church and the powers of death shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, it gives me a joy. It gives me happiness. It gives me a great privilege to share the reflections on the very feast day of St. Peter and St. Paul. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, as I said it in the introduction, Proverbs chapter 29 verses 2 says, When the righteous are praised, the people rejoice. Today, we are rejoicing because of two great saints who stood in the mission and in the plan and purpose of God and who fulfilled it on the days of their life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, the apostles, St. Peter and St. Paul, stand before us as a witness, as a witness to the truth, as a witness to the gospel, as a witness to Jesus. Matter of fact, they died as martyrs by witnessing to the truth that is Jesus alone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. They never were tired of preaching or journeying. They preached, they journeyed as missionaries proclaiming Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the scripture already gives us how well they perform their duties, responsibilities as apostles of Christ. If you would see in the Acts of the Apostles, it bears witness of both St. Peter and St. Paul. The first half of the Acts of the Apostles, the first part of the Acts of the Apostles, if you would read, you would see how Peter, soon after the descent of the Holy Spirit, takes up the church, molds the early church, and builds the church, and gives them the necessary courage and strength, and makes them, makes them to grow spiritually. St. Peter, who was covered, St. Peter, who was fearful, St. Peter, who was worried about after the death of Jesus, who thought to go back for fishing, takes the mission of Christ with the anointing of the Holy Spirit and proclaims to the chosen people of God through the life that he led and through the words that he spoke. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Paul also we see in the Acts of the Apostles wherein which he takes part in the Acts of the Apostles from half of it and he continues to be there in the mission and in the plan, in the purpose of God. Both St. Peter and St. Paul proclaims Jesus and his glory to ends of the earth through their journey, through their preaching, through their life. They witness to God's glory. That is the reason the church elevates them as the pillars of the church. Even in the book of Zechariah, chapter 4, verses 3, we see where the verses goes like this. There were two olive trees, one on the right, one on the left. When Zechariah had this vision, he had asked God, what is it? He gets the answer in Zechariah, chapter 4, verses 13. These are the two anointed ones who stand by the Lord of the whole earth. And these two anointed persons are St. Peter and St. Paul. My dear brothers and sisters, even St. John in his revelation, he writes in the book of Revelation, 
chapter 11 verses 3 to 5 you would read it is said I will grant two witnesses authority to prophesy these two olive trees these two lamps stand before the Lord of the earth the same vision which was proclaimed to Zechariah even John witnesses to that vision and that two great people who had authority who prophesied who laid the foundation for the early church is Saint Peter and Saint Paul so the scripture gives us the authenticity of Saint Peter and Saint Paul building up the church and making the church to grow and that is the reason church elevates them as great saints and today it is not just a feast it is solemnity of these two saints praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters as we see their life witnesses it really touches our life also in gospel of john chapter 1 verses 41 we read that peter was the very first disciple to be chosen by jesus and in galatians chapter 1 verses 14 says saint paul also was chosen as he was a zealous for the tradition of ancestors both peter and paul were not perfect human beings were not holy of holies but they were ordinary men they were sinners they were distancing themselves from god but god chose them for a greater purpose for a greater plan today the same god on this feast day of saint peter and paul going to promise us no matter how far you are gone my dear son my dear daughter I will choose you and I have already chosen you come to me so that the way that you live may be ordinary but my spiritual gift will make you an extraordinary sons and daughters praise the Lord praise, praise, the, Lord. Lord. praise the Lord my dear brothers and sisters like we fall short of God's glory even Saint Peter Saint Paul had fallen short of God's glory also if you would see Peter in today's gospel who says you are the Messiah you are the son of the living God who said and acclaimed denied Jesus for three times and after denying he carried the guilt all along his life until and unless he had an encounter with Jesus Saint Paul was a great persecutor. He persecuted the early church. For him, the tradition, Mosaic law. Because as he was a Pharisee, he wanted to keep up to the rules and regulations. But once Christ came into their life, they started to introspect their life. They started to change their life. We read it in Gospel of John chapter 21 verses 15 where Jesus asked Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And to St. Paul he says in Acts of the Apostle chapter 9 verses 4 where St. Paul himself acclaims which the words of Christ utters like this. Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Peter grieved in his heart when he heard the voice of the Lord saying, Pete, Simon, Peter, do you love me? He says, Lord, you know everything what I did to you. In my own unworthiness, I place myself. I too love you, Lord. That was his answer. St. Paul, after he witnessed Christ on his way to Damascus, he was blinded. Christ became his light. Once he received Christ in his life, 
Paul becomes a light bearer in carrying the word of God to the ends of the world. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are called to know these two great saints, St. Peter, St. Paul. Why? Because they lived up with their unworthiness and they gave and understood their unworthiness and they gave themselves, surrendered themselves to the plans and purpose so that God may make them worthy of their calling and God may use them mightily for his mission and purpose of his plans, fulfill his plans and stand at the, as a witness to the truth. My dear brothers and sisters, God does not want people to be chosen who is of extraordinary, who is of talents, who is of intellectually skilled or uh, skilled in various fields. No. God calls an ordinary people. Peter was a fisherman by profession. Paul was a tent maker by profession. But God calls them for a greater glory. God calls them in making the kingdom of God on this earth. Praise the Lord. 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 That is what the famous saying goes like this. God does not call the qualified, but qualifies the called. God qualified by knowing Peter's weaknesses, by knowing St. Paul's weaknesses. He made them to grow spiritually so that they are united with Christ. Praise the Lord. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, we see the second thing, witness of their forgiveness. As they witness their life, they witness their forgiveness. How? Peter and Paul, when they encountered Christ, when they encountered miracles, wonders, when they encountered Christ in their life, they started to feel their unworthiness. St. Peter so beautifully he proclaims and acclaims Luke chapter 5 verses 8. Lord, I am a sinful man. Go away from me. The words of Peter. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 9, St. Paul says, I am a least of the apostle, unfit to be called as an apostle because I have persecuted the church. Words of St. Paul. In both the cases, if you would see, St. Peter was acclaiming his unworthiness St. Paul was acclaiming his unworthiness because they were feeling guilty of receiving Jesus. But Jesus knows them beautifully. Jesus knows their inner thoughts. Jesus knows their in and out of their life. That is the reason he gives courage to them. He says to Peter, Peter, you are the rock. On you I will build the church. He says to St. Paul, when he complains about his weakness in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, St. Paul cries to Christ and says, there is a thorn in my flesh where it is tormented by the Satan. But Christ tells to him, tells to him, my grace is sufficient for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When we submit ourselves, when we surrender ourselves, when we show to Christ our own unworthiness, God, by his grace of mercy and forgiveness, makes us worthy of his calling. That is how St. Peter and St. Paul realized it. They actually performed throughout their life an attitude of humility. Because they knew that in order to achieve the holiness, 
they cannot exalt themselves rather they need to humble themselves that is the reason in letter of saint peter first peter chapter 5 verse 6 he says humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of god we may exalt you in due time praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord, praise the lord. today the church exalts both the saints saint peter and saint paul as a beautiful example who lived up to the truths who lived up to the teachings who lived up to the gospel values of jesus and proclaimed jesus and lived with jesus both received the forgiveness of god in abundance both tasted the love of god as they witnessed to the love as they witnessed to the forgiveness as they witnessed to the compassion and mercy of god they were ready to give to others my dear brothers and sisters these two great saints leaves us a great example making us to know their life know their weaknesses and making us to receive god's forgiveness and follow christ worthily thirdly we see how they witnessed christ in their life in today's gospel if you would see in matthew chapter 16 verse 16 when others were not able to say they were saying about you are jeremiah you are elijah you are one of the prophet but peter acclaims you are the messiah you are the living god jesus says on you i build my church you are the rock you are the kaffa my dear brothers and sisters saint paul also beautifully says in galatians chapter 2 verses 19 i have been crucified with christ and continues with verses 20 it is no longer i who live but it is christ who lives in me both saint peter and saint paul lived up to these words St Paul so beautifully he says what can separate me from the love of Christ in Romans chapter 8 verses 32 onwards nor naked nor peril nor sword nothing can separate me from the love of Christ since they tasted that love they wanted to proclaim that love to others St Paul also says oh to me if i don't proclaim the good news of Christ they proclaim the good news through the life that they lived yes they were weak they were fragile they were covered they were fearful but once they witnessed the anointing of the holy spirit once they encountered christ fully once they received that abundance of grace and blessing they proclaim christ unceasing unceasing unceasingly because they were witnessing to the truth my dear brothers and sisters even you and i are weak are fragile we have fallen short of god's glory but we know how much we have received god's grace in our life how much god has loved how much god has blessed us that is what it is always said count on your blessings sometimes we do not count on the blessings of god we only crave for those things that are not there in our life rather than craving for the blessings of god god has given us abundance of blessing that is what he says in gospel of john chapter 10 verses 10 i have come to give life life in abundance let us surrender like this two saints saint peter and saint paul under the feet of the lord submitting all our unworthiness submitting all our fragile weaknesses submitting all our sins and failures saying to the lord lord i am weak make me strong that is what saint paul says when i am weak then i am strong why because christ says my grace is sufficient for you god has given us that grace by baptism let us realize let us come back to jesus on this very feast of saint peter and paul and realize our own mistakes realize our own sins and ask god's pardon let us live as children of god as sons and daughters of god witnessing to his gospel truths 
because jesus says in gospel of john chapter 14 verse 6 i am the way the truth and the life as we have received jesus as the way the truth and the life let us witness to that truth let us witness to that way let us witness to that life for that you and i have to ask god's forgiveness god's mercy and god's compassion god's abundance of grace and blessing come my dear brothers and sisters as we continue to participate in this eucharistic celebration let us ask god to bless us abundantly to give his mercy and forgiveness so that each and every moment of our life we may walk the journey of christ as saint peter and saint paul let us also ask the intercession of saint peter saint paul like them we also may be chosen consecrated and be commissioned according to the plans and purpose of god amen let us stand and profess our faith i believe in god the father, the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord he was conceived by the power of the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary he suffered pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended to the dead on the third day he rose again he ascended into heaven and he seated at the right hand of the father almighty from there he will come again to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen of a dream All that I am, all that I have, I surrender to you. All that I am, all that I have, I surrender to you. Take my heart. Take my will, make them yours alone. Take my heart, take my will, make them yours alone. All that I am, all that I have, I surrender to you. All that I am, all that I have, I surrender to you. Take my life, take my dreams, make them yours alone. Take my thoughts, take my dreams, make them yours alone all that i am all that i have i surrender to you pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may, may the lord of this sacrifice your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church may the prayer of the apostles o lord accompany the sacrificial gift that we present to your name for consecration and may their intercession make us devoted to you in celebration of the sacrifice through christ our lord Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. 
we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by your providence, the blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, bring us joy. Peter foremost in confessing the faith. Paul, its outstanding preacher. Peter, who established the early church from the remnant of Israel. Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so each in a different way, gather together the one family of Christ and revere together throughout the world. They share one martyr's crown. And therefore with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. With our hearts filled with praise. With our heart full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord our God, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed, blessed is the one who comes. Blessed, blessed, blessed is the one who comes. Lord, up your name, Lord, we lift up your name with a heart full of praise. With a heart full of praise, be exalted, O Lord our God, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. As this ordinary bread and ordinary wine is going to be consecrated let us ask the lord to consecrate our families our mind our soul our heart so that we as consecrated children of god may be united in the mission and the plan of god you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this all of you and drink from it for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread when we drink this cup we proclaim your death o oh jesus until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope tumabala our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life by praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, "Our oh, Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread." and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not in temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the for kingdom, kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to the apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with, with your, your spirit that has offered each other the sign of peace peace be with you Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Behold him. He is asking each and every one of us, Who do you say that I am for you? Blessed are those called to the supper of this great Lamb. Lord, Lord I have received the bread of life joy fills our hearts again we have received the reason cry jesus in us will reign i am the bread he said that will feed your so eat of my flesh reach the heavenly God we have received the bread of life joy fills of hearts again we have received the reason cry Jesus in us will Peter said to Jesus you are the Christ the son of the living God and Jesus replied you are Peter and upon this rock I will build my church. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church, that persevering in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the apostles, we may be one heart and one soul, made steadfast in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Kindly bow your heads for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you. As he has made you steadfast in St. Peter's saving confession. And through it has been you on the solid rock of the church faith. Amen. And having instructed you by the tireless preaching of St. Paul, may God teach you constantly by his example to win brothers and sisters for Christ. Amen. So that by the keys of St. Peter and the words of St. Paul and by the support of their intercession, God may bring us happily to that homeland that Peter attained on the cross and Paul by the blade of his soul. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. 
thanks be to God I wish each and every one of you happy feast of St Peter and St Paul St Peter and Paul may intercede for us so that we may also establish God's kingdom as his sons and daughters Jesus be the center of our soul Jesus be the center of our heart that we be together that we live together Jesus be the center of our life Jesus be the center of our soul Jesus be the center of our home Jesus be the center of our world that we grow in wisdom that we build your kingdom Jesus be the center of our life Jesus be the center of our life